Hi, I'm Brian, service manager at Whole Latte Love, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the housing from your Proftech Pro 600. Let's get in there. Alrighty. So, first thing you're going to want to do for starting this job is to make sure that you've removed all of your external accessories and unplugged the machine. Safety first. So, we're going to take the cup tray off, pull out your reservoir, and drip tray and grid. You notice this has some custom wood side panels in there. Aren't those pretty? They are pretty. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to take those out in case you ever need to change them or do whatever you want with them. So, sure. first thing we're going to do is take off the top plant panel here. This is a three millimeter Allen wrench. And with most of the 700, or I'm sorry, the uh, Profitech lineup is just got to loosen these two front screws mm -hmm. and remove the back two, set them someplace safe, and lift up, slide back, it comes right out. Easy. We, got, we got access to a lot of the things just with that, right? Yeah, yeah, basically anything that you need to do on top of your boiler is now completely accessible. So if you're just going in here to, uh, you know, strange out your vacuum relief or, you know, reset a stat or something like that. That's as far as in as you're going to need to go. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but let's say you need to get to your boards or to your PID or anything like that. I'm going to show you the next step here. Uh, we're going to start up at the top here. Mm -hmm. So we've got up in the top corner here. You've got a screw here that slides down this L-shaped channel. Mm -hmm. There's one of those on both sides. Okay. So. All we need to do is loosen these until you have a little bit of play on the panel here. Slightly tight spot in there, but you have those like rounded end. Uh, yeah, rounded end, uh, the ball ends on these are fantastic. You can come in an angle. A little bit more of an angle. Uh, definitely something that if your uh, machine has been on recently, you might not want to do this just because <laughs> these lines all up here are still going to be hot, but luckily, this one's nice and cold, so we're going to be all right. I will survive to fight another day. Nice. All right, so now that we have those loosened up, we're going to tackle the ones on the bottom. And I'm going to show you, put this whole thing on its face just to show you. Normally, mm -hmm. what you would do is just start here. There's going to be uh, one screw here, here, and then, so there's two on each panel. Okay. So. You would be able to just get the feet so they're just right up at the edge here and then put your tool right there and just go like that to loosen it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but just so you can see everything that I'm doing, I'm going to put it face down here. Okay. Uh, if you want to do it this way, you can. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easier to do it face down. It just means you got to turn the machine a few more times. Sure. But uh, if you do do this, it's going to be resting on the group head. So make sure you got something nice and soft and cushy for it to lay on. Okay. So. I'm just going to take it, lean it, put the group right in that towel there. And now you can see all these screws here real easily. Something else you might see is this giant access panel on the bottom here. Uh, these are all, this is also held on by th three millimeter screws here. Uh, this is really nice on this machine because it's massive. You get a lot of access to the bottom of the machine in case you ever need to get in there. I'm just going to show you what that looks like real quick. Get those three out and then, oh, four out, sorry. Hidden behind the leg there. There we go. And it should drop now. There we go. Oh. Okay. So that's a real quick, good way to access a lot of stuff down here. Uh, you got your solenoid right there in case you ever need to clean it out. Uh, your elements right here if you ever need to test them. Uh, your OPVs right here, which you can access from the front of the machine without taking anything other than your drip tray off. So it gives you That's a lot nice. of really good access there. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that about this machine. So, Beautiful. But enough about that one. Yeah. Let's get back to the matter at hand. We're going to go for all six of these bolts here. I'm just going to loosen them first. Somebody really went to town putting these on. So what you do uh, on the weekends, Mark, you tighten up screws. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Just to get you. Yep. <laughs> yep. Touche, sir. Touche. You're always telling me you're Jack. So okay, let's see yeah. just how Jack. Yeah. Well, the hot, that's how I stay <laughs> in shape. <laughs> Unscrewing all the things that you screw in. Uh, all right. I just so. want you to have that high grip strength. Eggs, you know, <laughs> comes in handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if you ever needed to, just remove uh, your back panel. Uh, I'm going to show you that once we get this flip back over too. But okay. if you wanted to remove just your back panel, uh, you would have only had to have done four screws on this. And that would have been this one and this one. Mm -hmm. And then I'll show you where the other two are in just a second when we get flipped back over. I'm going to venture a guess and say they're up top inside. Yeah, that's a solid okay. guess there. Okay. All right. Now that everything's loose, when I turn this back over, you're going to make sure you're holding the housing and the chassis, just because okay. this is going to start to slide down since we loosened those screws already. Okay. Okay. So now everything just drops right out. Mm -hmm. and you just slide back, get caught up on something. All right. So if we had wanted to take out just this panel here, mm -hmm. all we would have had to do is loosen this screw here and this screw here. Okay. And technically you could have just loosened the back two, not taken them completely out uh, either way. Uh, once those were loose, you would have been able to just pull that right out. And it's not a whole lot to get access to there, but if you wanted to get in just to take apart, you know, your filter here or something like that, or better inspect your socket if you're having an issue. I'll get so, you there. A couple of reasons to take out just that one if you wanted to. So that's getting all that casework off now, but this has got like, you know, we got those custom wood panels in there. Yeah, so let's say it didn't have those nice panels in there and we wanted to put them in there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a pretty easy job to do. So you'll see right here, mm -hmm. there's a smaller screw there. That's a two and a half. Like a set me. Screw in there. I'm wrong. Yeah, that's just all that's doing is just pressing up against that panel there. All right, and two. It's a two millimeter. Two millimeter. So there's four of these that you would loosen. That one. That one. And you don't gotta go all the way out. Uh, if you can see that, you can see the threaded part coming away. Yeah. Once that's inside the rivet there. You're in as far as you really need to go, so no need to pull them all the way out and risk losing one, so. Sure. But it's pretty much all there is to it. Once those are all loose, oh, we gotta get the one from the top corner here is gonna block us, oh, so. Okay. Make sure we get that one. There we go. So once all of those are out, you can, you can just slide, slide right out. There you go, and then okay. take your replacement panel, just slide it right back in. Tighten that one back up, so this one's the top back one there and the top front one here. Just keep in mind those are the three millimeters, mm -hmm. and then the rest of them are the two millimeters. Um, you don't need to go down real hard, just enough that it's not shaking around, because you don't want to risk damaging it. I mean, you have to crank down harder than Mark cranks down on those bottom <laughs> bolts there. But it's one of those things, not any need for you to go real hard on it. So it's enough that if you pull on it from both sides, it's not it's moving not around, so it's not going to rattle or anything. And that's all I, there is to that. I do like that wooden panel. Aren't there. they beautiful? That's that is nice looking. All right. I like it. All right. And that's about all there is to taking the housing off. Okay, now it's time to put the housing back on. Let's put this bad boy back together. All right. Easiest way that I've found is to start with the machine's back facing you. So what we're gonna do is start with the two front screws here, sliding into the L, uh, the L slot right here. So mm -hmm. starting with a little bit lower, up that way. Okay. So. Come right around the side there, just line them up, just let it set there for a moment. Grab your three millimeter wrench. And I'm just pushing up on the 
lower portion of the panel here. And tightening that down enough that it holds it snug. Oop, not quite there. Stand, stand. Okay. All right. Now, the same, same thing, thing on the other side. You can line everything up right there. The tricky part is not dropping the screw while trying to do, or the <laughs> wrench while trying to do this. Yeah. Everything else is easy. The one hand spin. Yeah. Definitely one of those things. It's a little bit easier if you have someone helping hold it up, or you have something you can wedge underneath it. Something soft. You use like a fold in half sponge or something like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, now that we got those on there, I'm going to take the back feet and line them right up with the edge of the counter here. Start putting these screws back in. So, this is my favorite thing to do on the studio set because I see bright light right above <laughs> me and it makes it so easy to see these holes. Oh, it's right there somewhere. Again, was probably easier if you have someone helping you, but mm -hmm. not impossible. You'll find it eventually. Yeah. You could also have like a little flashlight or something sitting on your floor pointing right yeah. up. Anything you want to do to make your life more easy. I'm just a stubborn bull, so <laughs> the more difficult it is, the more fun I'm having. Ah, uh, it's a challenge. Yeah. Makes it that much more rewarding once you get everything put back together. Sure. Okay. We got these in here. There we go. Tighten those down. All right. And then, again, like I said before, you can just keep turning it mm -hmm. so that every time you're doing each side like that. Again, I'm just going to put it right up on the space on this towel here. So you see what I'm doing. So we got two back screws in. We got two more to get in. This is the tricky part, is making sure that everything stays lined up. So what I suggest is once you have all your screws started in here, is to not tighten everything down completely yet. That way you can kind of shift things around if you need to. Hmm. To kind of check so. the seams here once you're kind of partially in. Yeah, because of these, uh, the way that these are uh, constructed, where there's nothing holding your side panel to your rear panel mm -hmm. on the bottom, this has a tendency to kind of go whichever way it wants to go when you're first trying to get everything put back together. So I just like to leave yourself with that little bit of push room so that. Once this looks like it's all there, you can actually confirm and adjust. That one, and one left here. And as you can see, everything is a little, doesn't look quite right from the bottom, so mm -hmm. just gonna check it from the top and see. Everything lines up. The first thing I like to look for is right at the edge here, just to make sure that there's not a fat lip sticking out there. Mm -hmm. Should be about the same all the way around. You can just kind of give it a pull to make sure everything's fully seated in. And then once you know that that's all where you want it to be, you can just go back, tighten everything down. Take a look here. Check, make sure those, so that one's a little, little, whoop, as I make everything else go out of place, <laughs> is the fun part. Loosen this one just a little bit. There, there we go. go. That's why I was saying don't over tighten it, right? Yeah. <laughs> do as I say, not mm, as I do. <laughs> Learned that one from my mom. Yeah. 
Mom's not watching this, right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching I know, this. I might have said that to my kids once or twice. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I probably say it to my kid on a daily basis. So. Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right. That's all there is to it. It's just kind of playing around. Usually the biggest part that's going to have uh, any alignment issue is going to be that back panel. Uh, like I said, with as far as getting the front since you only have that screw right in the front there at first, mm -hmm. as long as you keep your lower ones loose, just pulling it from that back corner should pull it flush right there. Flush so. yeah. um, oh, other than that, top. yep, top, top back on too, yep. All right, and remember we left these two screws in here. Yep. So we're gonna start, come down in an angle, pop it right into place there, and then when uh, you're putting it down, old. yep, watch your reservoir insert there, that goes on the back side of this lip here. So just yeah, kind of push with your in. finger then. There you go. And then the last two screws here. Start here, just gonna get them lined up, make sure I can actually see my holes and they're not catching up on the lips. And down. And important thing to keep in mind is when you're sitting everything in, <clears throat> make sure that the edges of the cup tray mm -hmm. aren't touching the housing. Um, it can cause a slight vibration as the pump's running if, you're, if they're touching there, so just keep an eye on that when you're tightening it down. Having a little lip there is totally normal. If you have a giant lip there, then maybe this isn't seated all the way in correctly and it does need to be loosened bring it forward just a little bit more, the whole outer housing, but mm -hmm. if you're not a perfectionist, then just a little bit of lip is totally fine. fine. Okay. That's it. That's it. Easy peasy. <laughs> All right, Brian, thanks for taking us through putting the housing back on. No problem.